Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets. Also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, samba, jiu-jitsu, striking. The guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw in yeah. training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Teixeira is nine years the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a six inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record now. 33 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Clover to Shara! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habiba, the Eagle, Nirmago Meda! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. fight to the ground. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice, stupid punch. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, 
not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That's a big strike right there. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. They continue to exchange. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So we call on the numbers here. These are unofficial. 42 total strikes have landed for Global to share. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just misses with the jab there. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. So Cher's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. And he landed the right hand there. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a tie book blast or something like that. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Nermago Medov. Big kick land. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Hook shot lands. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Medov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Nice punch here. Nice sneaky head kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, well-timed overhand there by Teixeira. Misses again with a right punch. Plus right hand is true. Five minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good one. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. Teixeira gets caught with that punch. 
Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And he continues to work the body here. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate. The you're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. So the numbers thus far, unofficial they may be, but 84 total strikes have now landed for Glover to share. Well, in terms of the accuracy rate, not great. 38% thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big body kick lands. That punch will roll right through the guard. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouth. You got to play cat and mouth. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Look at him whip his hip. It's that kick. Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there and... He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Huge block there. An uppercut in. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. That one's tough, yeah. Nice play. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times? Oh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels the opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab on Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Back and forth we go. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to work. That's a huge connection there, DC. He massive, is perfect. massive good play. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, he heard the battle with the jab. Goes to the body there. Nice one, two there. So there it is, longer reach. Gets up again here, but hurting. Big punch land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown.
Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that two punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landing, great punch landing to put his opponent down. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, combination lands. You wanna talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Whoa! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yeah? Some real power shots here. It up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Hey. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Big kick land. Well, DC, not sure what your record is for total strikes connected in a fight, but 168. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop for this contest at one minute, 41 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Clover Teixeira! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go to the after party or what?